Hi there, my name's Matt. I am a cancer patient. I am diagnosed with stage four um, throat cancer. Luckily it hasn't really spread anywhere, uh, except for maybe a little dot on the back of my tongue. Anyhow, I uh, just had my first chemo two weeks ago in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Um, it is, uh, from what my experience has been so far, the best decision I could have made. And uh, I am going to tell you why, and I'm also gonna be showing you some videos from uh, my chemotherapy in Cabo. Um, it's really nice. I get a private room. I have a wonderful oncologist and ENT throat doctor in San Jose del Cabo. Um, and I, I am really, really happy with the, uh, with the quality of treatment and, you know, as far as, uh, accommodations go, um, this hospital has a Hampton Inn attached to it, which I am not staying in. Uh, I am actually staying in the town of San Jose del Cabo at a really nice hotel called the Ellen Canto Inn. And um, I am getting, I can walk from the Ellen Canto Inn to the radiology place, get my uh, CT scans a full CT scan with high contrast for around 500 US dollars. And I don't need a doctor to order it for me. I can walk in and get the thing. So hopefully this video is going to show you a little bit about getting rid of all of the bureaucracy and bullshit that is associated with uh, American healthcare, which I am so disappointed in. But at the same time, I'm getting excellent treatment and I'm not gonna have to lose my house over it. So uh, let's get going. Oh yeah, the other thing I forgot to mention was that uh, it has been two weeks since I uh, got my chemo and I've just know my scalp has been hurting kind of like uh, someone pulled my hair really hard. But now I'm noticing that, ooh, I am getting clumps of hair every time I, uh, every time I lightly ta tag on my head. So uh, the uh, next scene, I think we're gonna see some hair getting shaved off. And I know it's a hard thing to deal with, but, uh, you know, it, uh, it's not so bad. It, it's just, you know, it's just hair and it'll come back. Maybe it'll come back different, but, uh, I'm looking forward to, um, getting all this past me and hopefully getting this cancer behind me.
So we began our journey back to Mexico for my second chemo treatment. Ended up at the Cabo San Lucas airport and uh, here we are, right back where we started. I'd love to see you again, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. So long, buddy. All right, I'm here at H Plus Hospital to get my chemo treatment and uh, help show the building a little bit. And uh, we're going to be getting a uh, nice view of what chemo treatments here look like as opposed to the chemo treatments you might get in the United States. So let's head in. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What do you say? Oh, gracias. Ah, muchas gracias. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Good, yourself? Good. Not you, right? Yes. Yes, Hector, my favorite guy. Thank you, thank you. You're my favorite patient. Ah. Wow. In okay? Okay, sounds good. So this is our nice private chemo room. By American standards, this is like the Hilton. Is it going? Yeah. Yeah. So this is it. This is what chemo looks like in Mexico. Nice private room. Uh, and the value is incredible too. to mention Netflix all day. <laughs> so that's it for that video. Um, stay tuned because I got some good news and I'm going to La Paz for radiotherapy. And I'll tell you about the good news in a few.